Hi everyone, Steve Harva with Creative Ventures and here we are again in our next episode in the Over Coffee series. Problem solving is a big part of leadership. In fact, it's a huge part of it. Most leaders spend their time looking at solving problems, creating opportunity, leveraging resources, but they have to be good problem solvers. And if you want to be a good problem solver, you need to have a systemic approach to solving problems, a process that mitigates the chance of choosing wrong solutions. Companies should have formal problem solving processes that are understandable and applicable throughout the organization. You'd probably be stunned at the number of companies that have no formal process for problem solving. In fact, if you ask them to define it, their definition will turn out to be basically, I'm just winging it. Now I want my airline pilot, I want my surgeon to have a strong process to use when things go haywire, right? Defining problems is a big deal. It creates a beginning and a starting point. And that's the best way to develop your problem solving process is to attack it. Attack it at the very beginning with what we call a problem statement. Now, there have been all kinds of solutions to problems. You could take a Rubik's Cube and you can go into YouTube and you'll find 10 to 15 moves that'll solve it every time. Um, it hasn't worked that well for me, but they're there for you to look at. We were able to define an element of time by discovering methodologies of measuring it. We were able to look into the distant stars by solving the problem by developing small mechanical devices. We've always had this ability to solve problems, but we can really finite drive it home like a laser when we have a common starting point, a problem statement. You see what happens without that, what happens without a problem solving a process is that people just jump right in. They look to solve a problem without any, without the right process in place, and all they do is exacerbate it. The magnificent Sydney Opera House, located on the shores of Sydney Harbour, is one of the most famous and recognizable buildings in the world. But it's also one of the most famous and distinctive elements of problem solving gone awry. No set, firm process for solving the problems that occurred with a complex building. It had a five-year construction plan. It took them 14 years to build it. They came in 1,400% over budget. No process formalized for solving problems. So let me help you out and give you a way to start. Um, grab your group that you're working with, and let's say you're working on a team project, five people on the team. At the very beginning, give everybody a five by eight index card. Have them write three to five sentences on how they see the project, how they see or define the problem. Collect them all up. A good leader synthesizes what the team thinks and is able to develop a common problem statement. No more than three to five sentences. From that point, imagination comes in, creativity comes in, experience and skill sets come in. And it works. In contrast to the Sydney Opera House, let's go to the Guggenheim Bilbao Museum in Spain. It is a unique and startling looking building that launched the career of American architect Frank Gehry. Um, doing something this unique was fraught with problems, but every time they had one, they were able to take a problem solving process and attack the problem individually before they moved on. They knew what the problem was. It had a genesis beginning point and they were able to define it so that everyone on the team knew what the problem was they were going to solve. Um, that Guggenheim Museum, in fact, came in ahead of schedule and under budget. Processes don't have to be complicated to be effective, but leaders know when they need to apply it to a problem. Want to strengthen your leadership skills? Look for methodologies to create problem-solving processes and systems that are simple and applicable, and always start at the beginning, the problem statement. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you next time on Over Coffee.